Alright, um, what I want to do is I want to show you guys how to, in this example, add complex numbers. First thing we need to remember when we're adding complex numbers is we can put them in the form of A plus BI plus C plus DI. And when adding complex numbers, you add, these are what we call the real parts, and here's what we call the imaginary. So you, you add the real, which would be A plus C, and then you add the imaginary, which would be B plus D, I. Now we have a little problem here because we don't have any imaginary numbers up there, do we? We have it written as a square root of negative 18, and we have it written as a square root of negative 50. So whenever we're talking about imaginary numbers, and we have, when we don't, when we're not seeing an I, we're going to have to either transform it so it's back into its imaginary part. So what I'm going to do is I need to uh, simplify my radicals. And a quick little overview, my bad, this is negative 18. Whenever you have a negative under a radical, you can factor that out to give you I. Then, to simplify your radical, the way that I've always done it quickly in my head, is I look for, remember I need to take the square root of a number. So what, what number can I take the square root of that it can be divided into 18? And that number I can rewrite this as square root of 9 times 2. The reason why I like to rewrite it like this because now I can take the square root of 9, which is 3, and really for these problems, we're going to write the i's at the end. Because remember, we're going to start getting into the use of b, i. So you're always going to write your number at the end. All right? So then for negative 50, I'll do this a little bit quicker. I can rewrite this as, uh, let's see, this is going to be, again, you can take this as i times square root of 25 times 2, which will become uh, 5 times square root of 2 half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to these are my two imaginary parts. So I'll just rewrite my problem as 8 plus, instead of square root of negative 18, it'll be 3 plus square root of 2i plus 5, and this will be plus 5 times square root of 2i. Why, 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 why the minus sign change to the plus sign? I don't know. It's no minus. Right. <laughs> All right, then you just add your real parts, which you have 8 plus 5. And then you imaginary, you're, add your imaginary parts, which would be 3 plus square root of 2 minus 5 times square root of 2. I. And there's a big plus sign there. 8 plus 5 is 13. It's negative 8, not 18. It's negative 8. The problem itself is negative yeah. 8, not negative 18. He's not doing 21. He's doing his own problem. Yeah, he's doing Yeah, but um, this is just a different problem. This uh, is just number 22. Kidding. I was like, wait. No, it's actually <laughs> it's it's number 22. This is number 22 and number 21 together. Guys, so guys, half people here. Guys, okay. Well, you put the bottom half of the one with the top half. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of fun. So well, <laughs> either way, it's just an example that you guys don't know how to do, or an example that's Sorry. not given. It's okay. It's okay. You kind of scared me. Raise your hand next time because I thought I was like freaking out, but it's okay. Anyways, I'm just going over the process. So it really doesn't matter if I made up the example because I wasn't planning on doing your homework example anyways. But just doing this, 8 plus 5 is going to give me 13, and this will give me a negative 2 times square root of 2 high. Does anybody have any questions on the process, though? Huh? You have a plus negative. Yes, so therefore, 13 minus 2 times square root of i. Square root of 2i. Thank you. You can write that probably more for me. Does anybody have any questions, though, on the process on this? Can you do that again on the opposite side of the board so I can see? Yes. Okay. Can you do 30 